at the starting lineup for St. Andrew Technical. In goal, they have Jaheim Williams, Alex Xavier Good, Nicoy Gale, J. Lloyd Smith, Richard Livingston, Leon Brown, Kalonji Watson, Andre Salmon, Dwayne Atkinson, Kevin Hall, Rashawn Frankson. They're coached by Philip Williams. Yeah, this team used to getting to finals. They'll be looking to replicate that today. That's Nathaniel Brooks there, giving a hand to one of his teammates. Let's have a quick look at their lineup. Jelani Yusim. Nathaniel Brooks, Dante Dekas, Jason Hamilton, Axe Wright, DeAndre Reed, Jaheim Bicente, and Benjamin Griffiths. They're coached by Jerome Waite. Yeah, Jerome Waite is a coach that is used to winning. He has revitalized this women's program. I think they're playing some. Malika Reed got things going. Wilmers had the early forward thrust. Nothing converted from that. St. Andrew Technical going the other way. Beautiful ball played to Dwayne Atkinson. Forced wide and he fired wider off the upright. Leon Brown had a glorious opportunity. It was overcooked in the end. Things would change for St. Andrew Technical. Nikoi Gale, the ubiquitous holding midfielder. Everywhere in the park and into the back of the net, he sent that ball as well. His first of the season, and what a time to score. A chance for glory, a chance in the final. Nikoi Gale, number five. They loved it. He was sorrowful joy unspeakable they went forward salmon fired saved and the rebound was going to livingston he was fouled he stepped up and he converted in minute 19 his 10th of the season the captain for st andrew technical dead ball specialist and he duly obliged on that occasion richard livingston salmon what an afternoon he had Always on target with his shots, but Jelani Yusim had his ticket. This one came to Atkinson. Yusim again coming up big and saving the attempt. Had some crucial saves with Yusim. Another chance. Opening his body was it, Dwayne Atkinson. Yusim in the second half now, opening his arm. Another save. Boyne on his defenders, but they would succumb. Here's Salmon once more in the area with a shot, with a save from Jelani Yusim. I tell you what, there could have been a conversation for him being a man of the match, but three goals beyond him, it would have been out of reach. Defensive error led through. Livingston tried to cross it. Yusim. Actually played like a libero there in volleyball. Played it in the path of the substitute, Agitai Marshall. And on his birthday, he converted his fourth of the season. Yeah, that's volleyball there. That's a header on goal for Agitai Marshall. They weren't finished. Header on from Alex Xavier Gooden over the top. And that was the end of it. Stats confirming their place in the Walker Cup Final 2023. Here are the full-time statistics. Seven on target from 18 attempts from Stats. They could do better with accuracy. Three from five from Woolmers. 19 fouls. Ten of them to Woolmers. Yellow card split even. Two between two teams. Two offsides apiece. Five to four in corners uh, favoring Woolmers. Five to three saves. Yusum came up big, 65% of the possession to St. Andrew Technical with three goals to book their spot in the final. The Digicel man of the match is standing by. Yeah, thank you so much, Dean. The man of the match, Richard Livingston, his award being presented by Kaden Webley, the junior brand manager of Digicel. Thank you so much, Kaden. Let's have a chat now with Richard. Talk to me about that game. Were you happy with your performance? Well, that performance was a great one, but 
kudos to the boys because they are the ones that helped me to look so beautiful out here. Yeah, I, I want to ask you from a player's perspective, um, being knocked out of the Manning Cup and then coming to prepare to play for the Walker Cup, how was that transition in the mindset for you? How did you able? How were you able to get yourself in the frame of mind to play this competition? Well, nevertheless, preparation didn't change because you have known St. Anne Technical High School as one of the that most dominant schools. So we continue the same training. I hear the boys today putting on a great performance. Yeah, you're into the final. Just tell me how much would you like to win the Walker Cup? Well, 100%. We will be the first St. Anne Technical High School team to win the Walker Cup. All right, so we'll see you in the final. Well right. done, Richard. Thank you. That was Richard Livingston, the other man of the match. We'll have a chat shortly with Coach Jerome Waite of Wilma's Boys. Coach, obviously not the result that you would have...